I had come to the Kisi region in the town of Nyakoye to investigate some strange stories that I had seen. Old women being burned to death in the 21st century. How could this be real? I knew there had to be more to the story. And for that reason, I went to the town, made some new friends, and then we set off to learn more about the area. We're going to the biggest tourist attraction of Nyakoya, which is the rock quarry. One of which Maui Kwanini. We're taking pictures. Oh, when I when I Maui, yeah, to make up for Alami. Oh, for tarmac. For tarmac, and the other one is used for building. Oh, okay. While building. Okay, okay. Yeah. So this is for the tarmac for roads. Yeah, these small ones. Oh, okay, the small ones. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, this is what they you use it for. They mix with oil. I don't know what it was. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We call it Lami. Okay. Yeah. It's very ironic then that the only road that is not tarmac is the one that I just saw outside. But they'll soon tarmac it. Okay. I would have been accused of being a terrorist like three times by now. Wow. So Hapo, Wali Jengu, Barabara Ya Kenya. Oh, so it used to be all Maui here. Okay, wow. A man over there has just been taking lots of pictures. Yeah. Of my new friend here. He's, a nice guy. He's like your personal photographer. Yeah. Kenyan girls love taking photos. I'm asking if there are snacks here. Oh, <laughs> nyoka. Gonna <laughs> nyoka happen? He's not answering. He's just taking my picture. We don't want to take our it's, it's like a photo shoot. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm pretty sure they're arguing about where to take the best angle for the picture. He's seen in Zurisana. And in in Australia. Um like Nairobi. One on yeah, like he see kuna watch hour. Yeah. Yeah, me me well you know. Those are they talk of night runners. Night runners, yeah. Most people have never met them. Okay. But they that believe but yeah. they they are there. They're there. Even though we've not we've never seen them. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's like a, a legend. Yeah, like it's a story. You whites have witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> I the think same so. way here. Well, we used to. But uh, the same thing here, African. Same thing here, okay, yeah. okay, okay. But, there uh, are some things they do often. You know, some languages, like some tribes like Luya, uh, Luos, yeah. have their form of Uchawi. Okay. And the case is some communities, not all families are witchcraft. Oh, okay. Yeah, Wachawi comes from Kuna. specific homes. Okay, so Kila so, Kabila, so not, Kuna Wachawi. Yeah, I see Kila Kabila. Okay. Oh, Kila Kabila Kuna Wachawi. Okay. But uh, in, uh, from few homes, from few families. Homes. Yeah. Okay. Those who have accepted to get saved, maybe they know God is wrong to do this Wachawi. Okay. They leave it completely. They leave it completely. And with, with this exposure now, kids are going outside. You yeah. see, maybe they leave their mothers with that one. When we bond with a different tribe, we leave those things in peace or oh, at home. At home, okay. Yeah. okay. Although we've never met them. Okay, okay. Sometimes we say ah, it's God. Okay, okay. Even the Bible in the Bible there was there was witchcraft. The mother told her, Tell your dad to you want John's head, I think it's John. John's head? Yeah. Oh, in the Bible. In the Bible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. that is where witchcraft started. The way they say. Witchcraft comes from the Bible. Yeah, it's okay. from the Bible. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. But, um, do they ever, like, do they ever hurt people here for being a witch? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, nearly some, uh, um, they, they even burn some people. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Wali Choma, Wanaume. Yeah. Wanna wanna walk it. Wanna walk it. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, they were both men and women. Okay, okay. Yeah. But wanna walk it and they. And you was it. Okay. You know, as as they are dying, that yeah. thing is go, uh, going slowly. It's yeah. disappearing with the, the current generation. Yeah. They are still doing those things. Siko hizi, akuna wachawi wengi. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, there's, maybe there's like uh, Wachawi Mimi. Yeah. Se secret. <laughs> Usiku. At yeah. night. Usiku, yeah. They do their things at night. You know, anything done in darkness is not good. Not good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, if, what if you dance in darkness? What do you want to choose? Usiku. Yeah, you know. Hini, hini vibaya. Una michezo ingine sipo. So they don't ever, they don't, they don't ever take the witches and throw them here. Belong to the what? Uh, Asian. Asian. Yeah. Oh, like the Chinese. Yeah. What This one is Asian now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've been in places where it's. Are you appreciating them with anything? Should we give them money? Yeah. You think? Because so? I've given them. Okay. Hundred, hundred. Hundred? Oh yeah. Like Two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Those guys were so chill and like they didn't ask for anything that I completely forgot to give money. <laughs> because usually people here are just very blatantly asking. Yeah. Wami Farahi. Ah, good. You know, sometimes they wait for a salary. Yeah. The whole month. The whole month? Yeah, you wait for a salary after a month. That's messed up. 
sometimes the police though. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm on, but I'm not really that so there. I'm not even in the sea. Okay. He's yeah. asking for a soda. <laughs> asking for a soda? He wants a soda too? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Next time we will come. Okay. Uh, Nin uh, uh, Arabaini. Okay, nice. Yeah. What is your name? Tommy. Okay. Tommy. Yeah. From which country? America. Marikani. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Come Thanks. again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Boya mona na kwaheri. Yeah. Enjoy your soda. <laughs> that was a little joke. Can you say Okay. I'll show you our church. Yeah, okay. Our main church. I'm a seventh day, a seventh day Adventist. Seventh Remember? day Adventist? Yeah. Okay, wow. That's um these are still up there. No, I'm the I'm the Imba Sana. Yeah, he sing at home, I know song. Hi. <laughs> Oh, okay. They are saying they want you to record them. Oh, they <laughs> <laughs> as they are building. All right, here are the strong men of Kisi. Yes, so yeah. I'm not Jenga Nini. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, nice. Okay. Gina, Gina Lango ni Tami. Yeah. You know, with us Africans, we do it manually. You do it manually. We don't use machines yeah exactly. just hand work yeah yeah and it's done nice bahati bahati yeah mzuri ngaki do you say um ngaki 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 uh, yeah you've been in kisi no i i i read online on google Oh, you Google? Yeah, I went to Google and it says, okay. it says a few words like Ngaki, Mbuya Muno. Ngaki. Ngaki. Oh, Ngaki. How are you? Or how is you? Oh, okay. Ngaki. 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 Oh, cool. No. What's up? Mbiya Mori. Mbiya Mori. Mbiya Mono. How are you? Oh, yeah. Mbiya Mono. Mbiya Mono. Some classes in our church. Yeah. This is the river where we come for baptism. Oh, this is where you get baptized. Yeah. And that's also where the the cows just hang out. Yeah. They see the. If you have a cow, you, you just bring them here. Yeah. Cow. No, this is somebody's land, but oh, okay. they are free to graze. You may find even fish swimming here. Really? When I was a kid, I used to swim. Oh, when I was a kid, yeah. Wow. Why can you wingy? How wanna? How wanna? We used to swim in a river like this down there. Yeah. Wow. You would. Wow. You would swim against the current. Yeah. That's that's next level. Even people drown here. <laughs> Pe nothing. People have drowned here. Yeah. Wow. Near the end of Diani Beach, yeah. and then uh, Wasichana, Wakenya, Wote, Wanasema, Ah, Siwezi, Kwagile, Wana Ogopa. The belief we have is this. Yeah. Uh, in Indian Ocean, yeah. there are times people drown. They drown, yeah. Yeah, they drown. Okay. Do you Wanasema? It has Mashetani. Oh. So when the Mashetani, like devils? Blood. Yeah. People my uh, must drown. Oh. That's why most people fear. Now this is where we get baptized. This is the baptism spot. Yeah. Wow. So where we ulipokuwa na miaka moja I don't know it's more than 13, 14, 12, oh, okay. 10, we used to see. Oh, okay. 10? You mean Miyaka Kumi? Yeah. In America, we get baptized at like one years old, as a baby. One year, you, you are Catholic. 
Oh, uh, it's Catholic. Mimi amanet die na batizwa na miaka kumi kumi na kumi na mbili. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Seventh Day Adventist thing. Kumi na mbili to fifty. You can even get baptized at eight years. Eight years if old. You yeah. Didn't. If you get born again. Yeah. 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 They wanted me to get born again in Nairobi. Yeah. One time. Mahali hi ni mazuri sana. Mazuri. Yeah. Hazuri. Hazuri. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Grammar. Una semaji una pomzika kwa kisi. Moti mogete. Moti Okay. Moti mogete. Okay, you can have a moment yet. Mimi name kisi. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I have no idea what she's saying now. Oh no, the bag. No, Ili We roast? Yeah. This one. Yeah. This one's this one is best for roasting. Oh this is the And these ones are best for push me after they have you have dried them. Oh, well. Okay. You remove from the mail cob. Yeah. And then Take them to the Okay. Oh. English. Hey. <laughs> English is English is very good. English is this wonderful. That's the church. Yeah. You're in the Canisa. Doing Bible study now? Yes. How about you? Ah, Mambo. And this is where the river Oh. Uh, oh, that's where the river is behind it. Oh, okay. This is Nyakwa SDA Church. Okay. Mm. Yes, yeah. This is where we worship. Okay. You speak English very well. Yes. I, I mean, I know. I know most Kenyans speak English, but like here in uh, Nyakoya, a lot of people don't speak it. <laughs> <laughs> people speak English. They're learning. They're learning, yeah. Yeah. On a summer. Mm. Yeah. People right. have gone to school. Subsequently, if you've gone to school, yeah. you're expecting that school has gone through you. Oh, okay. And the end product is you speaking English. Fluently. Oh. Yeah. That's like the, the final product. Exactly. It's like an English speaking Kenyan. <laughs> They just shoot you out of the factory. <laughs> <laughs> Got the river right behind the church in case you need a, an emergency baptism or something like that. Okay. Can I ask like a serious question? No problem. Yeah, like are, are there ever people that come here to the church and they say there's like a witch or something in the village? Mm. <laughs> no, uh, I've never heard of witches around here. Yeah. I don't know, in Nairobi, they all say there's witches in Kisi. So I wanted to come and find out. Those are fake You know, that, that's one way of running away from home. They don't want to come back home. Really? Yeah, yes. That's the lame those are fables. <laughs> really? They are fables. Yeah. Yes, you, those things we used to hear like ogre stories. Yeah. <laughs> witches in Kisi, I, I don't think they are. I told you every tribe has. Yeah, every child Even has. from the Bible. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Do you read the Bible? You also have I've yours. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. But Na in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that too. Mm. Nafikiri uh, Pia. Yeah, but like for some reason mm. in Nairobi they say like Kisi, Kisi has more. Yeah. But Kisi nobody has come out to say I am a witch. Okay. No. It's all stories. Okay. Those are stories. Okay. Actually, you can never catch a witch. Yeah. How? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of Unless difficult. you are a witch. Unless yeah, you're a witch. You're a witch. You send they a say thief to catch use a thief. thief to catch a thief. Use a thief to catch a thief. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Interesting, interesting logic. But if you go to Nairobi, people will tell you people from Kisi, they eat people. They are witches. Yeah. How can you defry a whole human being like this one and eat them? How? I mean, it's a saga. Saga, yeah. 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 
Oh, this is where my lunch came from? Yeah. This is the saga now. This is the saga right here. The plant, yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Avocado tree. That's an avocado tree, though. Tell me. Yeah. How many countries have you traveled in Africa? Um, only three. Kenya, Tanzania, Kenya. Uganda, Kenya. Well, yeah. What's the name of the president of uh, Uganda? Uh, Museveni. Gupta, you wear Museveni. Yeah. The oldest president around. The oldest, yeah. Since it's a no nonsense man. He's been a president since I was born. <laughs> 1986. Very long time. Yeah. And he's going nowhere anytime soon. Not earlier than 86. No, it's 86. Uh, yeah. 30, 35 years. 35 years? Yeah. Who's your favorite president? Yeah, my favorite president. Daniel Toroichich Arap Moy. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> uh, Daniel Turoi Teacher of Mo is the second president of the Republic of Kenya. Oh, okay, the second he's, one. He's dead now. He's dead now, okay. But he was you nice. Got, you never heard of him? I haven't heard of him. I, only, I know the first one. Kenyatta. Yeah, yeah. I know the Kenyattas. Oh, yeah. Kenyatta. I don't two know. Kenyattas. One is a son and the other is a father. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine right now it's the son. The son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would be weird if the father came afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Welcome again to Kenya. Yeah. Now, Mbuya uh, Muno. Santi Karibu Tena. Thanks. <laughs> you guys are very nice. Ah, okay. Very peaceful place here. It's very peaceful. Yeah. Enjoy your studies. Thank you. Bahati and Zuri. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see how to make things here. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, but Susan here just got me in trouble because she no, said no, she said to come say hi to her friend who was a police officer. <laughs> yeah, and then the police officers wanted some uh they wanted a soda afterward. People are worried. Is that worried? Where is Sue's coming from with a Mzungu? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And where, where, where is Sue or Shai? <laughs> they call me here Sue. Sue. Not Susan. Oh, Sue. So, okay, yeah. yeah. No, they are so worried. And where is she coming from? <laughs> Sue is walking with a Mzungu today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I tried to like walk around, yeah, I don't know, with like an African girl in my town. Fun. Well, in my town it would be normal. But here in Kenya, kuna wazungu wa chachi. Yeah, kuna wazungu wa chachi. Yeah. Marikani kuna wote. Yeah. But watu wa yusi, watu wa yupi. <laughs> hey, mambo. Mimi poa sana. <laughs> Is there, is there like a, a mayor? Are oh, the kids are laughing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and I end up killing Mahali. What to want to check? Because of Abu Mimi. Yeah. And when you come to your place, you need to check. Look at those man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to my figure. Now, what do you want? Super young. Alright, so a few hours later, and after like three beers, I've decided I'm going to stay here overnight in the village of witches. And uh, the main reason for that is uh, the curfew is kicking in really soon, I can't get back to Kisumu. But also, if you stay here at night, you have a chance of seeing the night runners. The people that just go running around like crazy because they've been, I don't know, imbued with spirits or something like that. Maybe we'll see that if we stay. Maybe. Let's find out. Alright. Welcome to my room in the Akoya for the night. Let me give you a quick tour.
right down these steps. see here we have a bed, a mosquito net, uh, we have some kind of bathroom, shower, no toilet seat but that's alright, at least there's a toilet, and uh, that's about it. You want to take a guess at how much this cost? Six dollars. Six dollars for a full hotel room in the village of Nyakoye. Eh, not bad. Hopefully, there are no witches that descend upon me during the night, but I'm willing to take that risk. Oh. I would love to go out and like explore a little bit at night. Let's see if there's any crazy people running around, but I've been told it's a little bit dangerous for a random white guy to be walking around here, so let's not do that. Yeah, like Kuna. Wana Wana Rojo. Hakuna. Okay. Like a Nili Sikiriza. Kunawatu, wana kindia, busiku. Okay. Hakuna, wachawi. Hakuna. Okay, okay. Now, now is a kulala vizuri. Yeah, yeah, no problem. All right. Good. I can relax tonight. All right. I wonder what this window is for. Yeah. So you've got a, uh, a lovely view, thankfully with a barred gate, onto the little entranceway that goes past your room. So I guess if the witches start sneaking in during the night, I'll have a good uh, eye on them before they get here. Good. Alright, let's close this. And uh, I'm about to uh, put this down. These are really annoying to sleep with, by the way, but, you know, if you don't want to get malaria, <laughs> that's the life you have to live. And uh, I'm about to turn this light off, get some sleep, and we'll get back to uh, the exciting adventures tomorrow morning. So, we'll see you when. Morning. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Slept really bad. It's not that the uh, not that the bed is that uncomfortable. It's actually fine. I mean, this mosquito net doesn't work that well. The biggest problem is that it feels like everyone in the village just they all woke up at like 4:40 in the morning at the same time <laughs> and started having a party. Well, that's what it felt like, because they're all having loud conversations and moving around. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty hard to go back to sleep after that. So, uh, yeah, I think the only witchcraft I've witnessed here in the village is just my sleep being magically stolen from me during the night. Alright, so before I check out of my uh, $6 hotel room here, let me show you something that's going to be very important to you if you ever come to Kenya. And excuse my morning voice here. <laughs> now, if you're at, I'd say, anything less than like an expensive hotel or like an expensive Airbnb, your shower is going to be like this. Alright, so the first thing you got to do, you got to find this button that's going to be somewhere in the apartment or the hotel. 
this is like the hot water heater, basically. And if you turn that on, okay, good. Your shower has hot water now. The really tricky part is your shower is going to look like this. <laughs> they all have like this Italian nozzle thing going on. And uh, basically, you flip this button, this, the dark circle means hot water, and uh, I think the one on the right means like warm, <laughs> and then the one in the middle is just, I don't know, not hot water. But the really tricky thing is, in order for it to be hot, basically, it depends on the amount of pressure that's going through it. So, like you turn this to turn the shower on, but don't turn it like too, like, like too far to the left, right? Like don't, don't have like too much water coming out of the nozzle, because that will make it colder. I, this was incredibly confusing to me the first time I came to Kenya, <laughs> but like, 90% of the showers, at least, have this whole setup. There's not really like a reception at this $6 hotel. And now wake up, Yeah, now check out. Yeah. Now I'm doka, fast. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm Where are any border? Yeah. Okay, now in the Kisi. Welcome, I'm not i I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm Really? Yeah, watch, yeah, so be careful. <laughs> cool, yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's good. As long as I don't I, I, I don't mess with you. Yeah. Okay? Yes, yeah, so be a nice guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go this way. Yeah. Yeah. And they will be nice men. Yeah, you gotta be nice guys. Yeah. You gotta give a good image of Kisi. Yeah, this is the uh, main stage of Kisi. Don't be an Mchawi. Where? You, my friend. How are you? I'm good. So you promote me this one? I know, I don't, I don't really need that. We are in need. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that. This is Kisomo? This is Kisomo. This is the one who's going to Kisomo. Okay, this is the only one going to Kisomo. Oh, sorry, sorry. Where is this job? What is this? Oh, you are That's eating this. <laughs> oh yeah, that came from uh, yeah, that came from the, the village. Oh, this is the, okay. Okay, now you help me tell all the guys to go away. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, okay. Let's chill back here. All right, so that was the visit to Nyakoye. 
and uh, to be honest, it was a pretty normal village from all accounts. Uh, and that's pretty much what I was expecting, but I mean, you know, if I actually did encounter someone who was, you know, a witch, I don't think they were going to tell me, and I don't think they'd want to be on camera. Uh, I kind of wanted to get into, like, more of, like, these crazy news stories that I've been seeing, you know, people being burned to death and you know, just being attacked on accusations, but I guess the, the important thing to take out of all of this is that these are just normal villages. And, uh, I don't know. I think like a lot of these, these burnings and attacks that happen, if I had to take a guess, it happens out of personal disputes. But, who knows? If there's anyone from Kisi that wants to comment on this, give a little more information, you're welcome to do that. But, I'll end on a high note and say that Nyakoya, the Kisi region, worth a visit. It's got nice people. A little bit pushy sometimes, but... Go <laughs> ahead.